What's up, bros? This is Lou here at Aegis Comics of Alaska. And another box, uh, another unboxing. This one's from EGS. And I've been told by a couple of y'all, yo, man, have the boxes open already. I know, man, I know. This kind of, we're trying to make this as quick as we can because we're behind schedule on uh, getting these videos out. I'm getting way faster than packing these though, so. And we also got your feedback on, yo bro, you gotta get closer to the camera with the book, so I'm gonna be all up in the camera here in a second. So, do this here. EGS, oh, X23, number one, very nice. Now this one's not available for sale. This is for a customer who sent this in. We post this mostly to aggravate you guys, but all kidding aside, it's to show you the type of uh, work that EGS can do for you. Once again, comes with a certificate of authenticity. Is that uh, no glare on this one, Kevin? Yeah, you see. All right, you guys can see it okay, man. That's that X23 hotness there. All right, that came back in uh, 9.0. Now, none of these books were pressed prior to the sending them out. So then we've got uh, Spawn right here. Spawn number one. And then Oh, 9.8, Harley Quinn. Very nice, very nice. Congrats to, I forget who sent this out, but yeah, this came out really nice. And the 9.8 too, Not, oh, damn, okay. This is really nice, wow. This, I'm gonna say, is the nicest book I've seen in this shop in a while. Star Wars Gold Foil in a 9.8. I don't know, I'll have to remember who the heck this was. I think it's the same person though. But this, congratulations, a 9.8 Gold Foil Star Wars. Yeah, Dark Empire number one. Beautiful, nine point, look at just, Look at how uh, Tony at EGS just matched that up just nice. It doesn't take away from the cover. A lot of critics have said that it takes away from the cover. That's nonsense, I think. I, it's up to your personal preference, obviously, right? But this is just a beautiful book all, all the way around. And if you go take care of your books, you might as well do it the right way, either EGS or CBCS. All right, one more box and then uh, we'll, we'll show you what's going on in the shop. All right. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm listening to my wife in the background with uh, some of our awesome customers. Wife lives, wife lives matter. That's right. I love you, baby. So, oh, very nice. This is a signed uh, flash. It came back at a 9.8. That's really nice. This is a this is an actual hand sketch signature here. That's really beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Okay. And that's that signature series. Oh, very, wow, man. Guys are killing it this time around. Look at this, a 9.8 Ultimate Spider-Man number two, Bendis. Really nice. 
All right, people are actually, uh... now this one came back in a 5.0, but it is a Deadpool Merc with a mouth and it is signed by Arthur Sudam, the cover artist. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. I'm assuming a lot of it, the issues must have been in the back of the book. Yep. Still a great book though. Awesome. Um, oh, let's see what this one is. This is our last book. X23. Look at that one, guys. Came back in the 7.5. I'm sure with a pressing, it would have uh, popped it up significantly. But this is before we got our press. And uh, the owners of this, the owner of this book, he's not really, he's not concerned about the grade. He's concerned about just having his stuff encapsulated. So beautiful. Uh, beautiful book, actually. What, what do you think, Kevin? A nice one, man. Yeah, that beautiful like cover. Yeah, that. I. Uh, this is 2010. I regret not having the shop in 2010 because I probably would have had a couple of hundred of these. So, this is awesome. So, something for you guys to know that keep things fair. We did get those exclusives from uh, Robert Kirkman. We've got the Firepower and we've got the Negan. Those, uh, I believe it's bronze and gold, respectively. We're, to make it fair, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a live auction. We're gonna do it on Saturday. It's the first time ever we've done a live auction here at the shop. And we will do it, we will uh, do it on Facebook. So live auction on Facebook. And if I could do it simultaneously on YouTube, I'm gonna try to. I'm still new at the, the tech stuff here, as you can imagine, but we're getting there. So we'll do a live auction for these bad boys. And uh, I will put more details out as we get closer to Saturday. I anticipate it'll be Saturday at 1 p.m. Saturday at 1 p.m. Alaska time, we will do a live auction. Saturday at 1 p.m live auction on Facebook. And if I can do it simultaneously on YouTube, I will. And it'll be for these two books. Highest bidder will get the book, plain and simple. All right, so let me show you around real quick with the new books, some things to check out. So we've got Firepower 1 and 2 came to the shop simultaneously this week. We've got Batman 96 which is a continuation of the Joker War. So we've got that in the shop this week. We've got Deceased, Dead Planet number two, which is a continuation of uh, the Deceased storyline. You've got, uh, it looks like Jonathan Kent, who's now the new Superman on the cover. We've got this book, which was crazy today, The Legends of the Dark Knights. Uh, the one in 25 for this book right now is the first appearance of the Robin King, I, I've seen it as high as $400 on eBay. It, it's out of control. Do not pay $400 for that book. Don't, don't do that. Um, Transformers, My Little Pony. I'm trying to show this with a straight face, but it's actually a fun book. It's a <laughs> Friendship in Disguise. Uh, you gotta love that. So we got that there. It's great artwork. It's a funny, it's a fun story, fun for all. We have several of those left here. Then we've got, uh, this has been pe pretty popular today. I only have two more left in the shop. And this is the Alien, the original screenplay by Dark Horse. And we have that comic book here. We also have Conspiracy Men in Black, Finger Guns, Ant-Man, Star Wars number five, the new Deadpool. We, I've got two left in the shop. Uh, Captain America, Deja Thoris, and then uh, 
G.I. Joe, Ice Cream Man, and then the book everyone's been waiting for, Rick and Mur Morty, Bird Person. Oh, yeah. So, then we've got the Clone Wars, and we got the second print of the Clone Wars for the people that missed out on number one. We, we got you a second print of that here at the shop so that you'll have your chance to get a hold of this, of this new storyline. And then we have a new book here, interesting. There's two of them, Indies, and I, you guys have heard my opinions about Indies and how they've just been taking over little by little. I think uh, DC and Marvel, if they don't step it up, these guys are gonna just run all over them. And you've got, right now you've got uh, Vampire Masquerade number one is available in the shop by Vault Comics. And then you've got Skyland uh, from uh, Source, uh, <clears throat> Source Point Press, issue number one. We have that available at the shop as well. So make sure you guys come by the shop, come pick these books up. Uh, oh, very nice. That was actually the, uh, I forget which one's the variant, but then you got the other cover here for the same book, Vampire Masquerade. Great books, guys. Come on by the shop, come get them. And if you come by the shop too, you can come pick up one of these awesome uh, hats we got, the Aegis headgear. We got them in, they're all flex fits because we don't do things chintzy around here. So these are all flex fit. We got large, extra large or small, medium. And for you guys with the big old cabezas, I'm gonna try to get some uh, XL, XXLs. But I'm not going any bigger than that. If your head's that big, you should get that checked. So guys, thank you, and we will see you next time. Oh, and one last thing. For the kids coming by the shop, or the adults with their inner kid, we've got the, the, uh, the masks available. <laughs> so come on by, get your Joker or your Catwoman mask, and we have different types of them uh, all over the shop. I, I can't even say this stuff with a straight face. So come on by, come get your stuff. Talk to you soon.